OK, so hi, Alana. Thanks for joining us today. Please can you tell the venue reservation audience a little bit about the history of Royal Hospital Chelsea? Sure. Uh, Royal Hospital Chelsea was founded by Charles II to provide a home for old soldiers. Uh, it was designed by Christopher Wren and began to receive pensioners in 1692. Uh, the mission of the Royal Hospital Chelsea remains the same to this day and provides a home for almost 300 ex-servicemen and women. 300, wow, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Yep, it's uh, 298 and six of them are, are women at this point. <laughs> Fantastic, keeping hold of the side of the women there. <laughs> so what type of events can be held at a Royal Hospital Chelsea and what would you say is the most popular types of events that you hold here? Sure, well we hold um, dinners and receptions for uh, the corporate market, for charities and private clients. Um, obviously a lot of our private business is in the wedding side of things, um, as well as um, sort of conferences and lunches during the day and then um, sort of slightly more off-piste events like musical performances, um, corporate away days, uh, things of that sort. We, um, we obviously have a large amount of outdoor space, um, having 66 acres of, of land here at the hospital. So um, we also do a lot of events that uh, have an outdoor component, whether they're outdoor drinks receptions, outdoor marquee weddings, barbecues, and uh, team building events in, in the various gardens, as well as corporate cricket and football matches. Fantastic. I never realised it was 66 acres. 66 acres in the middle of central London. So, um, yeah, it's pretty pretty impressive. I think it's it's certainly our, um, our, our one of our biggest unique selling points is the amount of outdoor space that we have. And because of that, the amount of flexibility we can have with, with the type of events yeah, that we can host. Okay, so can you tell our audience about any exciting events you have coming up in the next 12 months? Well, actually, yeah. We um, Actually, this, this past weekend, we did our first um, large-scale outdoor wedding um, utilising a marquee, which was really exciting. And hopefully, it's something that we'll continue to do as we, we found that it was very successful and we hope it'd be very popular. Um, in addition to that, coming up in uh, 2014, we have um, the centenary of the First World War. So we'll be in, heavily involved in both our own events for that and also kind of piggybacking onto some of the large scale, both London based and national events that are taking place. Um, we also have um, a few high-end weddings, a few celebrities, um, which I can't say much more about, but um, we, do, we do tend to, uh, to, to specialize in sort of um, quite wealthy society people's <laughs> weddings. So we have a few of those coming up. Um, and also we, we, look to we'll, we will look to have the busiest Chelsea Flower Show that we've had um, it, to date with regards to corporate hospitality um, in, in the main site as opposed to just down, um, down on the south grounds. So um, that, that's something that we're really looking forward to, especially engaging more uh, and different corporate markets with, with regards to the flower show hospitality. So you've got really diverse events happening in the next part of the Very month. diverse. Um, again, this the World War One centenary, um, a lot of that will focus on outdoor events, um, big marquee builds, um, a lot of military sort of fanfare, things like that. Obviously, most of the weddings are then slightly smaller, more intimate in our great hall. Um, and then the Chelsea Flower Show events um, really take over the majority of our spaces. So those vary from breakfast for 20 in our state apartments to um, large-scale corporate dinners in the great hall for up to two. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So can you tell us if anything new is going on at Royal Hospital Chelsea and how you see the events industry heading over the next few years? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we are in the process of a um, sort of large scale um, accommodation upgrade for the pensioners. So um, making all of their accommodations en suite kind of just raising the sort of level of the, the care that we're providing um, and actually what's great about that is that um, part of that means that our event spaces are being kind of refurbed in the process so um, we are getting um, full new kitchens put into uh, the Great Hall over the next year uh, and then actually the Great Hall itself in 2015 is going to have a full refurb um, uh, sort of, um, of all of the uh, the fabric of the building. Um, we're also re-boring as it may be, we're redoing the floors in the State Apartments this year, um, getting uh, a specialist to come in and refurb the the original ceilings, uh, curtains, things like that. So um, everything is just getting a little bit of a makeover, which is is nice. It hasn't hasn't been done in a while, so it's it's definitely needed. Um, the other thing that we're looking to do is um, actually not knock it down, but basically gut our cricket pavilion and um, redo that up to a, a nicer standard. At the moment, it's a bit um, village village green cricket pavilion, so we're we're looking to sort of refurb that to uh, increase our sort of corporate sporting element. Um, and in terms of the events industry, I mean, I'd like to think that um, hopefully we've come out of the backside of the recession. And um, I mean, I certainly think that there's been a bit more, the budgets have gotten a little bit bigger. People are back engaged in, in, in sponsorship and in marketing in corporate hospitality in a way that I've basically not seen since sort of 2008, 2009. So um, I'd like to think that, you know, we're back, we're back on a roll with regards to, um, to people being able to spend money and um, spend it on events.